Hey guys, William here from Jilly Lion Williams Adventures. And we wanted to make a short video. I've been talking to quite a few of our subscribers here at our channel. And basically today I'm going to make a short video and it's in reference to some of the questions that Junie Lee and myself have been asked. Um, and the question I want to pose is to our audience actually today. And the question is, why are you coming to the Philippines? Simple question. Why are you coming to the Philippines? What I'm finding out, guys, is that from being here in the Philippines a year and a half, and actually I've got to go back in April to the U.S. for just a little while to take care of some business, so I'll be documenting that trip back to the Pennsylvania. And there, the things, i got to take care of some uh, business with my house, and then I'll be coming back to the uh, Philippines. So I'll be documenting that trip too, guys. So stay tuned for that as a side note. But what I want to talk about is why are you coming to the Philippines? A lot of our, our subscribers that I've been talking to and Junie Lee's been talking to have told us they're coming to the Philippines within the next three to six months. And some a little longer, some a little shorter. But why are you coming to the Philippines? This is the question I want to ask. And, I, and there's usually about three or four categories why people come to the Philippines. And remember, everybody's opinions are different. And comments are welcome, guys. We, we enjoy comments on our channel. You don't have to agree with our opinions because remember, everybody has an opinion. And we here at Junie Lee and Williams Adventures, we welcome our subscribers to comment whether your opinion is the same as ours or not the same as ours. Comment, guys. Feel free to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. And those that want to become a member, Join our channel. There's perks involved with that, and it's, it's very inexpensive. Uh, so, guys, we appreciate those things. But why are you coming to the Philippines? Usually, a, a lot. first category that we'll discuss for briefly, girlfriend, LDR, long-distance relationship, a woman. Um, whether you're coming over solo to meet someone or you already are talking to someone, that would be one of the first things that I would say is a woman. That's definitely one of the things that brought me here. I had got involved in a long distance relationship and I wanted to meet her. So absolutely, that was one of the first things that brought me to the Philippines. A lot of guys will say different things. Comment if you have something that's different as your number one. But number one, women, women, women. Guys, there's lots of beautiful women in the Philippines. Um, and there's lots of women, especially if you're an older gentleman, that don't mind dating guys much older than them. So that is something that's different than the United States. There's a much bigger pool of younger women. And I'm saying younger, 5, 10, 15, 20, even 30 years younger. That's willing to date guys 5, 10, 15, 20, even 30 years older than themselves. And no, they're not called creepy old men here by dating women that are younger. They're adults. So let's, let's say that. First and foremost, that's normally, and there's always exceptions, guys, that women are somewhere in that equation. Tell us what yours is. is what's your why? Everybody has a why. Um, number two, and I'm just going to say in no specific order, money. The economy of the Philippines. How much more the money's worth? I think right now it's at about 56 uh, Philippine pesos for every one U.S. dollar. So that means, guys, that for a hundred U.S. dollars, you would get over 5,000 Philippine pesos. Over 5,000 Philippine pesos at this time. That changes up and down. In the last year, I think it's only went down to like 53. At one time, it was 58. And so that, that difference in money is a big difference, guys. A thousand U.S. dollars is over 50,000 Philippine pesos. So the economy, the cost of living, which they say here in the Philippines that it's going up a little bit. But still, guys, there's big time savings in rent. Whether you're renting a condo, whether you're renting a, a, a townhouse in a subdivision, um, whether you're renting some kind of uh, apartment. I mean, you can get rents as cheap as $100 here, 5,000 Philippine pesos. Anywhere up to whatever number you have money enough to get to. But as low as $100, guys, in, in that area, 200 300 
And so, number two, without no specific order, the money. Women, money. I was talking to another of my friends here, and he was saying that one of his number one reasons was the freedom that he felt, especially as a black man or an African-American man, whatever you choose to call it, that he felt like there was much more freedom for him here in the Philippines because he didn't feel like he was being targeted by police or law enforcement. He didn't feel like he was being ostracized uh, for being a black American or an African American here. He felt like the, the ground was level and that when he walked in the store, nobody was looking at him. And I said the same, like so he's ready to steal something. So the freedom that the Philippine affords to people of different nationalities, different races. Uh, there's only two kinds of people in the Philippines, guys. Either you're a Filipino or you're a foreigner. So it doesn't matter whether you're white, you're European, uh, you're Spanish, you're black. Whatever country you came from, you're either, you're a foreigner. So it's level. Uh, the playing ground is level. You're a foreigner. So freedom. Um, some guys say that they come for the beautiful beaches, guys. There are beautiful white sand, blue water beaches here. Um, there's over 7,000 islands here that make up the Philippines, over 7,000, probably at least over 2,000 or so. I didn't do the math lately, but I, in my last lookup, there's a lot of them that you can inhabit, and they're very beautiful guys. And depending on where you stay, the cost of living can be very, very low as compared to the United States. Um, a lot of savings is in rent. Depends on whether you're going to live in the city or a little bit out of the city in what they call provinces. But outside the city, the savings are dramatic in rent, guys. So we talked about women. We talked about the economy. We talked about what it is when you go look at the natural beauty of the Philippines. It's some of the world-class beaches are in the Philippines like Boracay, uh, El Nido, Palawan. Um, Bahol, I could go on and on. There's little known beaches like Batanyan uh, Island that is just beautiful, very inexpensive to stay at uh, resorts that are right on the beach, guys, for pennies on the dollar, as what we would say. The Filipino woman herself, as we talked about, in relationships, they're very, uh, uh, they're desirable because of their qualities that they're known worldwide as being loyal, as being good caregivers. Uh, there are a lot of good Filipino nurses and uh, doctors that I met even in the U.S. So those things, guys, the bottom line to it is everybody has a why. Guys, if you're coming to the Philippines, tell us what your why is. What is your why? Is it some of the things that I mentioned or is it something different? A lot of guys have enough money in the United States, so it's not just a dollars and cents thing. Some guys are coming here that were doing well in the United States. It wasn't that they were coming to make their money stretch further. They were looking for something different. Maybe peace of mind. Maybe they had a bad divorce. Maybe they had uh, been widowed or a death in the family. They're either a woman that husband died or a man whose wife died. And they wanted to see something else in the world. They were looking for like uh, Indiana Jones says, a fortune and glory, adventure. So tell us, why are you coming to the Philippines? Those of you that are coming on vacation, those of you that are coming to be expats and be here a while, or even immigrants and live here the rest of your life, what is your why? Why are you coming? That's the question that uh, we're posing. We want to hear the answers, guys. Why you are coming? Is it for a better quality of life? I noticed that when I came to the Philippines, the life uh, was so laid back, my blood pressure went down uh, a few months after I was here. I was able to de-stress, guys. It was like a second chance at, at uh, living again, you know, with the less hectic environment of the hustle and bustle of some of the places in the United States. I was from outside of Philadelphia, so it was more fast-paced, uh, city-type environment. So... Give us your reasons, guys. What is the reason why? I always said that if somebody's happy where they're at, they're not going to leave that place to look for happiness 
or contentment or peace of mind somewhere else. So everybody has that's coming to the Philippines has their reason why. Re watch this, guys. And everybody's reason is different. There is no wrong or right reason. We just want to know what's your reason. Because one thing I can tell you, as a person that's over 65 here in the Philippines, and it, you have to find hobbies and things to do here, guys, because you will get bored of just doing nothing. You know, there was a guy who told the story to his wife. She said he had retired and he was sitting around the house doing nothing all day. And she said, what are you going to do today, honey? And he said, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to do nothing. She said, well, you did that all yesterday. And he said, well, yeah, and I wasn't finished yet. So you will get tired of doing nothing here, guys. So you'll have to have a reason why in order to be here if you're coming here to be an expat and stay a long period of time. Because there'll be times uh, with different situations that arise here. Remember, the Philippines is a great place. It's a beautiful place. It's the friendliest people that I've ever met that are welcoming in the Philippines. Uh, the government wants tourists. They want visitors to the Philippines and they make it easy for you to not only get here but to stay here. But you will get uh, some sort of homesickness. You'll get bored. You'll get maybe you, you, you're not in the environment that you were used to. And you'll have to remember why you came in the first place. What were you leaving that you didn't want anymore is your why. Because most times, if we were happy where we were at, we're not going to go somewhere else. If you were in a committed relationship, your family life was good, everything was good in your life, why would you leave that to take a chance to go uh, over 8,500 8, miles somewhere else on the other side of the world, guys, where the Philippines is, to start a new life? So that's the question, guys, that we want to ask today. Comment. Let us know what your why is. We're interested to know what is your why. Why are you coming to the Philippines? Why are you packing your old life in some bags, in some suitcases, and leaving it behind? What's your reason? Remember, guys, everybody has their why. And that's what we want to know. I had mine, and I'm quite sure that you have yours. For some, it's money. For some, it is adventure. For a lot, it's the women. For others yet, it's the nature, the beautiful uh, surroundings and nature here in the Philippines, the history, the culture. But you will need a why guy. Because when times get boring and the, 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 the shine wears off, you'll have to remember why you left and why you came to the Philippines. So guys, remember, if you want to give us a super chat, that helps us to put out content. We want to be doing some traveling, we're going to do some things, and we're going to make some different videos that we can show our subscribers some different things. We, we appreciate those that support our channel. Guys, if you want to buy us a cup of coffee, give us a super chat. We certainly, Junie Lee and myself, will appreciate it. But that's the question we ask. We're not going to go any longer with this, guys. Tell us what your why is. Why are you coming to the Philippines? And guys, we'll see you next time at Junie Lee and Williams adventures. Till then, remember to enjoy every day because tomorrow's not promised. See you next time, guys.